In this video, we're gonna learn how to install our email subscription form and how to insert it into our website. So maybe you wanna build your email list and you wanna know how to do that. So we're gonna go for here and I just saved our entire work for those sections. And if you didn't go ahead and save your sections while you're still on the home page. So whenever you wanna save those changes to your website and that page you're working on, you have to save it before you close the Elementor, okay? And now we will go to our plugin section in the website and look for Mailboat. You can add Mailchimp for email plugins or Mailpoet or ConvertKit. This one is premium. So we're gonna install that one for building your email list. And we have these amazing ninja forms we're gonna use for the contact form later, okay? So you can go ahead and install both of them now or even each at its own time. I'm gonna start with that one. This is the new version of the Mailboid. They uh, upgraded that one and we're gonna install it now. Then let's go ahead and activate that. And if you wanna add new plugin, you're gonna go to your plugins and add new and search for, for Mailboid or any other plugin, okay? Now we have our Mailboid in here. So when we press on mail point in here, you're gonna get that screen with that short video. It's gonna teach you how to use the mail point, which is amazing as a startup for your email list. I think uh, free up to 2000 emails or something like that, which is amazing for a startup. Settings in here. In basics, you will be managing your default email settings and you can adjust the other settings from here and you have sign up confirmation if you want to enable that for people to make a confirmation and then you can customize your from reply to an email subject and all that from here for the sign up confirmation email then we have advanced settings which are bounced email will be sent to another email in here and by the way you should be knowing that it's also sending people a newsletter so like people will be subscribing for a lead magnet and that lead magnet could be a newsletter or a newsletter and free ebook or pdf or whatever you can give away for your uh, clients or for your visitors okay so they will be signing up to your email list okay when you finish you're gonna save your settings and you can go to premium in here when your email list grows or even if you have a big email list already then we're gonna go to lists and you need to create a list as a beginning so we're gonna create one and you can start adding new list from here or you can use that one if you would like my first list which is automatically created when you install Mailpoint. And you can add new if you would like and call it uh, Elementor for example. And this is a description for you if you would like uh, to describe it anyway. Trial list for example and we're gonna save it so it's not gonna be visible for anyone. And then you have a new list in here. Then you have subscribers, which you can import from here, or you have previous subscribers, you're gonna see them in here, or you can import or export from other email opt-in, like MailChimp or ConvertKit. And then we have our forms. And here you can create your new form, add new from here. And here you're gonna see uh, settings like that. You can close the settings and form a placement fields styles okay so you can start this form add the subscribers to these lists so you can add the new list or even both of them my first list and then we have form placement and in here you have these options uh, whether to add this form to your sidebar or footer on widgets page or even copy and paste this short code, which we're gonna do that now. We're gonna command C or control C. And then you have fields. Those are the fields for our email opt-in form. We can add any of these fields to our form. But we have divider and first name, last name, list selection, random texts, and you can even add more new fields, okay? And then you have these styles. It's a custom code for customizing your form. And here you can customize your form by editing display you can change your labels text and whether to display to then your label or outside it. Then you're gonna press on done. And here you can display the button for subscribe. But anyway, let's go to our Elementor again and let's add new section in here. 
and we're gonna add our text editor like that and then you're gonna paste your short code command V and then we're gonna save that and then we're gonna preview our page this is how it's gonna look like and now we're gonna go and design that to make it look even better than that so we're gonna edit that section this is a new section and we're gonna add a background for that section style and add a video background for that section in here let's add that one and this is how it's gonna look like and we can even put background fallback for mobile users because like videos don't work on mobile phones and that's why we're gonna add a picture for them so they don't have a blank area you can try that photo in here and we're gonna insert it and as you can see here it's not gonna work on mobile or tablet the video background okay so now let's continue adjusting our subscribing for so let's go ahead and customize that text here style we're gonna center that and don't worry about that it will be fixed in a little while and then we can add some heading for that section as well and let's encourage people to sign to our form let's call this one subscribe to our weekly newsletter command a we're gonna go style that one make it white typography on and we're gonna make it uppercase and let's align it make it centered and let's increase its size like that and add some line height and now let's even customize that a little bit more by adding some background from the style in here we have to select our email opt-in form and then we're gonna go to advanced and background now I'm gonna show you three art directions designing your email opt-in form first we're gonna start by solid color maybe white or light gray background then we're gonna try a picture and even a video going to element style and increase our bedding maybe 10 like that and for the margin we're gonna unlink that maybe 50 and 50 okay this actually needs more customization maybe let's make this one 70 and 70 from here can go back to our background in here instead of that solid color maybe this one this one looks quite nice but we need to work more on the minimum height for this section so let's go save that okay i think we need to work on the section's height first from here and let's make its height minimum height this time and we can control our height from here let's scroll down maybe something like that we can work on our column to get it a little bit higher uh, maybe 30 yeah 30 is nice and then let's go to our email opt-in form and let's make it on the side because like when we get it into the center I think we have a problem with that area of entering the email address it will not be moving into the center so let's keep it on the left I don't know if there is other way to change it make it in the center but maybe we can enter our typography and change our text color and make it like that color I think black is more visible maybe gray we can go and edit its background again advanced element background and let me show you another nice and cool effect in here we can change that image and make it maybe like this one and then we're gonna insert our media in here and we're gonna make it parallax effect like that fixed the attachment and for the size we're gonna make it cover okay so when you move it's gonna look like that 
and of course you need to change the color of the text in here to make it white or bright color to be visible like that okay and it looks really nice like that you can go ahead and experiment with many many different styles and techniques this is how it looks like for email opt-in form and now I'm gonna do just one more thing I'm gonna make that section height a little bit less like that and maybe we need to adjust our typography a little bit make it uh, light wait I'm gonna make it 300 and I'm gonna make it our font Helvetica and then maybe increase its size a little bit to make it look even more elegant hope that was easy one and go ahead and install your email opt-in form this is very important for your email marketing strategy and for your online marketing it's really recommended to start doing that as soon as possible